Hey guys, welcome to the last TF Feedback episode of the year. And to celebrate 2017 and all of you guys who are part of this community, I wanted to review a few more videos in this one than I normally do, so this is gonna be a super feedback episode. The reason why I wanna review even more videos is because I know the value of getting a second opinion from somebody else, especially someone with a little bit more experience than you. Now I'm not saying that I'm better than everybody else, but I think I have a lot of experience and it just helps to get a different perspective on things. For me, I learned everything in the beginning from the internet, watching tutorials, all that stuff. That's how I learn. But then later on, I started to work with other filmmakers and I learned a ton of stuff through those people, especially later on when I was shooting commercials and stuff, I was working with industry professionals and they were just so good in their areas and I was just learning so much about lighting and about cameras, directing people from directors, all that stuff I was learning. It helps so much to learn from other people. If you wanna be a filmmaker, all you need to do is learn, make, and repeat that process over and over again. But a really big portion of that learn is learning from other people or working with other people and learning through that. I highly recommend trying to reach out to other filmmakers, but again, remember to kind of stay in your skill level. If you're reaching out to somebody who's way better than you or has just a huge audience or something like that, they're probably not gonna answer you. For example, if I all of a sudden messaged someone like David Fincher and I was like, I'm super eager, I'm, I'm really into filmmaking, I just wanna learn, I'll do anything, I'm probably not gonna get any answer from him. But if you message somebody who's kind of in the same situation as you, hopefully a little bit better even the same level then you're gonna learn a lot just hanging out with that person making some films with them you're gonna learn a lot so I hope these little quick reviews of your films helps and even if your film didn't make it take these points and use them for your own films and the first video is we forgot the most important part and it's by near life experience this is a really cool video and it's one of my favorites of today and it's just because of the storytelling in it. I think it has a really good message and the story kind of goes throughout the whole video. I really like that. The intro was a little bit too long. I think you could have tightened that up. And the visuals, I think they could be a lot better, but I like that there's a lot of variety in the visuals. The color grade could have also been better, but we're all learning. And again, the story just carries this video. I really like this one, go and check it out. Next we have Trillium Lake and it's by Justin Romero. It's a nice little road trip exploration video and it's got some really cool things, a lot of cool little shots. The color grade works, I like the song, but overall it didn't really feel cohesive. It kind of just felt like random shots here and there. And it just didn't feel like a video. There wasn't really a story to it. There's also this weird part here at one minute, 35 seconds. I would have just cut this out. Again, go through your videos. If there's anything that's kind of weird or bothers you, cut it out, less is more. Cool video, but I would work on the purpose, giving it a little bit more story next time. Then we have Pinsel Falls. It's by Ariel Carlu Ferranda. Another little exploration video. There's some really cool shots here. I really like the color grade. It works really well. But the big thing that's missing here is characters. There's no characters in this video. There's just a bunch of random people everywhere, but we don't know who those people are. There's no character that we're following. So again, the story is kind of missing here and just the falls itself is not really a story. You need to put some story into this video. It's really hard to connect with this because there isn't that person or that character that we're following that we can relate to. So it really helps to have a character. Work on that for the next one, but a lot of great visuals here, a lot of promise. Next, we have a date in Morocco and it's by Wessel Baptist. This was one of my favorites of the videos I watched today. Even though there isn't really a clear storyline, the footage still fits together pretty well. There's a lot of really nice clips here. Again, the color grade, I like this one. Really good job on that. One thing I would definitely say is just get rid of the transitions. I think the transitions just take away from the video. Actually, I don't think it adds to it. And I'm hoping 2018 will be a year of less transitions. Hopefully we'll see a lot less of those. But I think the big thing that you're missing here is coverage. There's a lot of times when I can tell you're trying to make this fast, quick paced edit, but you just don't have enough clips to work with. For example, this one, this guy is walking down this little alleyway. There's only this one shot. I would have gotten another shot, kind of the reverse, 
uh, standing in front of him and walking backwards, getting his face and then maybe one of those cliche shots of the hand running through the fabrics or the footsteps, anything else so you can kind of speed up the edit and just keep it really interesting, especially when there's no clear storyline. It helps to have those quick edits, that quick pace to it. So just getting more coverage, really helps in the editing process. Don't just get that one shot, get a whole bunch of different shots from that same sequence. Great work on this one. The next we have the San Francisco travel video and it's by Prith Viraj Narahari. And like the title says, it's a travel film in San Francisco and there's some really nice shots. Probably some of the nicest shots out of all the videos I watched are in this video. But overall, this video is just way too long. There's a whole bunch of clips that I would just cut like this one and that one. And then there's even some doubles, like we have the Golden Gate Bridge in the kind of beginning area. And then we have it again at the end. You just don't need it. Cut out all the excess, keep only the best clips, and that's gonna make your video so much better. This video should only be about two minutes, I think. All the rest I would just cut out, keep only the best stuff. And I know it's tempting to keep it all because you've spent a lot of time shooting it all, but trust me, the video is gonna end up much better and then people are gonna see only your best work, only your best shots, and that looks way better on you also. Tons of promise here though, just work on the whole editing thing and just letting go of things. Great work, man. All right, now these were my two favorites and I'm gonna give it a tie for the pick of the day between these two videos. The first one is 48 Hours in Paris, and it's by Charles Paquet, Paquet, Paquet. I don't know how to say this last name, but it's by Charles. And I just like the overall feel of this edit. I just think it works really well. Again, there's no necessarily cohesive story here, but there's a lot of really good stuff in here, really nice shots, and you're kind of telling these mini sequences, and that's what a lot of people miss. For example, this subway sequence, there's the shots of you going actually into the subway, and then you're there, and then you're coming out. That's a nice little sequence, a little story of its own, and those are the things that really keep interest in something like a travel video. Instead of just this random shot shot, all these different stuff. Try to make these little sequences that tell these mini stories of different places that you're visiting. And there's some really cool shots in here. For example, this one, I like the symmetry in it. The only thing I probably would have done differently is to use your characters a little bit more. You're traveling around with some of your friends. Use them more in your shots, even when you have these other people in it. Have your characters interacting with them or reacting to them or something use those characters, the people that are there with you. It's gonna make it a lot more relatable and just more enjoyable and entertaining. But again, this was one of my favorites. Highly recommend checking it out and take some pointers from it. And the second pick of the day, fittingly, is called Travel Feels Rome. Great title, by the way. And I'm not even gonna try to say this name. I, I have no idea where I would even start. And this is probably my favorite video of the day, and that's because it's just so different from all the rest. It's just really refreshing to see just a completely different take on a travel film. I feel like pretty much all the videos I watched are trying to imitate this Sam Colder transition style. You know what I'm talking about. It's just really nice to see something totally different and it works really well in this case. It has all the feels. I love the color grade. I love the song choice. It just works really well for this. I even like the aspect ratio of this Instagram lookbook type of video look. It just works really great here. And one of the best things here is the editing or the pacing. It's just really on par here. It just keeps your interest, it keeps going. There's never a time where I'm like, all right, come on, next clip already. The pacing is really good in this video. I love the little text at the bottom. It adds just a little bit more of story or context to it, just to keep my attention again. I just liked so much about this video. The only thing that I probably didn't like was these little slow-mo shots, and I think that's because you didn't actually shoot them in a higher frame rate, you just try to slow them down. And I wasn't sure if you're doing that for stylistic reasons. If you were, it didn't quite work. I can see what you might be trying. But that was the only thing that I didn't like in this whole video. And this actually could have been easily an ad on TV or wherever for some fashion clothing company or a jewelry company or whatever feel good ad. This was really, really good. 
I highly recommend that each and every one of you watch this video just to kind of open your mind about what a travel video can be. It doesn't have to be the Sam Colder type transition style or, or travel feel style or Peter McKinnon. It doesn't have to be that. There's so many different styles that you can experiment with. Huge thanks to all of you guys for submitting your films. And sorry if I didn't get to your film. Hopefully I'll get to it in the future. Keep submitting them. Use the hashtag TF feedback on Twitter. Those are the only ones I'm taking. Don't send me an email. Don't send me a DM on Twitter or Instagram. Follow me on Twitter, tag me, use the hashtag TF feedback. And those are the videos that I'm reviewing. Can't wait to see what you guys come up with in the future. And sorry if this video was like an hour long, but I really wanted to just jam pack as many people's videos as I could into this super TF feedback episode. All right guys, happy new year. 2017 was amazing, but oh man, oh man, I'm excited for 2018. I think it's gonna be an amazing year. Thank you all for being a part of Travel Feels, this channel, this community. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And this will be the last time I say this in 2017. Guys, enjoy the filmmaking process and go get some of those Travel Feels.